Hello again, Craig here from ForbiddenKnowledge.info. We're at the beach for a radiation challenge. Long Beach, and you're gonna have to excuse the camera movement and the noise. I do what I can, I'm here alone, I work alone, and I live on the road. So, what we have here, and I'm trying to position myself to where I have a Geiger counter in one hand, and let me make sure I'm not zoomed, zoomed in, there we go. I have a Geiger counter in one hand, and a camera in the other. So I got both hands full, so that's why you're seeing such a ratty production value. You've got a pancake probe on this Mazur Geiger counter. Pancake probe detects alpha, beta, gamma, and x-ray. This is a Mazur PRM 9000. And let me activate the screen because it's in sleep mode. You can see the radiation here currently to be at 24. This is expected. Okay, 50. It'll jump all around. And I am walking closer towards the water's edge here. Oh, now it's up by 100. Wow, okay. We're going to keep walking. Got quite a ways to walk yet here. 160. I'm going to try to keep this in view at all times. Now, we're using counts per minute. Over 200 now. Counts per minute. Now, I don't normally use counts per minute, but for some reason, all the people on YouTube want to use counts per minute, so that's what I got it set at, counts per minute, because that's what people seem to want. Okay, now we're at 250. Got a ways to walk yet. We're still walking. I'm going to try to keep this in view. Almost 280 now. Got about 10 more yards to go. Almost 300 now. Wow. Okay, we're nearing the water's edge. Down to 200 again. Okay, we're going to get to where I'm getting my feet wet kind of thing. Okay, we are at the water's edge now, as you can see. And whoops, uh, went to sleep mode here. Okay, 180. We're going to walk along the edge here of the water. So it's hovering around 200 here at the water's edge. 180. What I want to do now is I want to put it right on the ground. We're at about 200 here. They put it right on the ground. Okay, now we're getting, whoa, it's jumping. 230. Let's just keep watching for a while. 270. The nature of digital counters is they don't give a reading immediately. Oh, now we're over 300. And if the water comes up here, I have to lift it up real quick. Over 300. Looks like it's settling back down, though. So we're, we're whoop, gotta take it out of the water. Sorry, folks. So we're around 300. We're, we're hovering around 300 here at the water's edge at Long Beach. Again, you gotta wait for it to catch up a little bit. And if the water comes again, I gotta lift it. So. We actually do seem to get oh, activated again. We actually do seem to be getting higher readings right at the water's edge, where we're detecting uh, at the at the water. About 300 pounds per minute. Okay, now I'm going to back away, and you'll see it'll start dropping. Then I'm going to walk around a little bit. So you see it start to drop again. Digital meters they they don't react immediately. So. I have to ask you now, again, sorry for the camera movements, why did you come here for this video? Did you look at the fear porn headline and figured, oh boy, this is proof I have that Fukushima is going to kill us all? Well, guess what? You've been punked. That's right. Yeah, we're at Long Beach, but we're at Long Beach, Mississippi. That's right, Long Beach, Mississippi, and you've just been punked by somebody with a Geiger counter, a legitimate Geiger counter, with a piece of radium taped to my fingertip that makes me adjust it, if you can hear, maybe. Gives me any reading I want it to give by putting that radium on my fingertip, because my fingertip can go near the sensor and give any reading you want. Okay, this is to prove to you people that you can't believe everything you see, even though it might look legitimate on YouTube or anywhere else for that matter. Let's go over here to the water's edge again. What do we got here? Let me activate the screen again too so you can see the reading. Oh, 15, boy, well that's a lot different, isn't it? 10, right on the sand. What do we got here? Buried in the sand, we got a piece of radium dial clock just like we have wearing on my fingertip so I can that's how I made higher readings
buried in the sand. Pick up my Geiger counter when I get it wet. And if we go over here, you can see if I put the radium on the ground and put the Geiger probe directly on it, and again, it's going to take a few seconds for it to catch up. Oh, yeah, 53,000 CPM, 54,000 CPM. So I can give whatever reading I want with a piece of radioactive test source. With radium dials or lots of other things that you might even have around your house. So this proves that nothing is provable with all these videos that the Fukushima death cult likes putting out to try to get you to believe that if you live on the west coast that you're gonna die from Fukushima. Uh-huh. It's all fear porn. And you were looking for it because you found this video based on the fear porn title I gave it. This is to demonstrate how easy it is to fake these readings on YouTube. I don't care what beach you live on in the world. I can take this. I'm getting alarmed now, hear that? Because I had a set point up at like 50,000 or something. <laughs> uh, but uh, I can take this, I can take the same video and anywhere in the world including Alaska and Hawaii. Why do you clowns keep passing over Alaska and Hawaii? No, somehow it magically floats in the air and goes thousands of miles, some of the heaviest elements known to man, and just happens to drop off on the coast of California. You've been had. You've been lied to. You're always lied to. There's, because of YouTube's policy of monetary monetization on their channels, you're always going to get this fear porn from people who are trying to make money off of fools like you who want or who just wallow in fear porn and you love it. Now let's take some readings here. And I got the radium in one hand with the camera. We're gonna try to do this. To show you and we're gonna activate the screen again. Alarm level exceeded, yeah I know. Current, so so the level's still actually going down because I had the radium right up to it. Well let's watch this for a while. Well under a thousand. We're walking around. Doesn't matter where I can I can walk around the beach in Dubai, and it's going to say show the same thing. Below 200. Oh, now we're down to 21. Oh, imagine that. And let's go back to the water's edge here and show you. I'm going to keep this on for a while so you can see what's going on. So we're hovering around 20. Normal readings, pretty much anywhere in the world, unless you live at higher altitudes. Ooh, 27, you're gonna die now. And we're gonna put it back on the ground at the water's edge. And show you, we'll leave it there for a little while. So it has a chance to catch up. Yep, activate the screen again. And you see that it really has no levels of radiation to be detected. Beyond background radiation, everything's background radiation, anywhere you go in the world. So, lesson for you. I'd love to see how many people, after the first few minutes of this video, ran with it and posted it on Facebook or spread it on everywhere else to show how bad the radiation was at Long Beach. Because well, damn well, some people probably did. But you've been punked and hopefully you've been taught a lesson in the process. Until next time, so long.